In this video, we are going to show you how to add links to websites in a Google Calendar entry. So the first thing we'll do is either create an entry or edit an existing entry. So by clicking on this particular entry, I'll click Edit Event. And you'll notice at the bottom, I have a template here. Sometimes at the bottom I'll put links to different websites like Khan Academy or maybe YouTube videos. Um, and, and websites along those lines. So now on the screen we're going to show you the actual code, the HTML code, and you'll see that it's a kind of a pointy bracket, an A, href, href, an equal sign, and then in quotations you're going to put the actual link to the web address you want. When you end that little section of code, you can then write what you want the user to actually see on the screen and then finally you'll end that little what we call an HTML tag with an open bracket forward slash a and then you'll close that bracket so I've given you an example here for Google and the user would see click here to go to Google and the second example I've given you here is if you want students to go to khanacademy.org and you'll see that the text that they will see will be go to Khan Academy and they can click on that text. So if you click the Save button, you can now uh, refresh your calendar and give that event a click and the website Google should open up. So let's give that a click here. There we go. And you'll see it load up on the screen. If we go back to our Google Calendar to edit events, you'll see that I can simply grab some of this code. So take a quick peek at that code again if you didn't catch it from before. And you can insert the appropriate links that you'd like as well as the text. But what I'd suggest you do is just simply copy it from day to day so that you don't really need to memorize the code. Uh, when you want to create a new event, you can simply paste that code in there. Once again, making sure that you're on the correct calendar. In my case, it's the Google Calendar sample video. And now I can just simply paste that code from my clipboard.